Hello, hello Capricorn. My name is Liz, I am the Femme Genius, and I'm here to do your September 2023 tarot scope. I'm so excited for what this month is gonna bring you, so let's get started. Um, I'm using the Tarot of the Divine. I cannot remember the author's name of this deck, so I'm sorry, but if you look, if you like these cards, it's called the Tarot of the Divine. Oh my gosh, all right. So let's see for Capricorn. Oh, I just want to yawn. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't catch it. All right. <laughs> so that's terrible. Listen, Capricorn, I love you. Baby, listen. I like it feels September right now for you feels like a yawn you can't catch. Oh, like where have you been breathing super shallowly? Where are you? Nope, it's not ready. Where are you staying in the shallow when you're actually being pulled to the depth or where are you playing in the deep end when it's like guiding you to go back to basics saying like come on it's time it's time to get back here get your footing under you get your breath back in your lungs okay it just feels like you're breathless okay let me see but nope okay <laughs> sorry this is wackapalooza here capricorn wow but what fun energy it just feels like i'm at this carnival right now where there's a little bit of you know, a feeling of things are a little crazy, but it also feels like I'm rolling with it. And I'm just like, all right, <laughs> this is happening. And like, what a privileged place to be. What a great place to be sitting, to be like, you know what? I can't even catch my breath, but all right, I'll keep checking in, see if I can catch it later. And, you know, hopefully one of these days I can breathe again. <laughs> But you're coming in with these three cards from the Tarot of the Divine. Look at this, Ace of Coins. Oh, beautiful, it's not ready yet. Uh, <clears throat> Five of Coins, Eight of Wands. And so when I see these three together, it's like the universe is showing up and trying to give you these tangible gifts, but you have been so stuck in scarcity, being like, I don't have enough, that no matter how many times the universe shows up with a coin in its hand, it's never gonna be enough because it's it's only been about this scarcity mindset of I need more, I need more, I need more. And instead it's saying like when you can actually get clear on how much you need, how much time, how much space, how much breath, how much money, how much love, how much da, 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 da. like really this month take inventory of what it is you need and claim it. I know you Capricorn and I love you. So many of you in my life, but I gotta say, like, get yourself down off the cross. It's also 1111 here right now. Um, get yourself down off the cross because it's time. Oh my gosh. 1111 is gonna come into. I did it! We breathed. Okay, whew. 1111 is a big significant thing, so keep keep your eye out for that. It's gonna come into play in this reading in a second. But it feels like things are really gonna finally be able to speed up where it's felt really slow when you can really define what it is that feeling resourced means to you. Because without that definition, you're just, it's gonna constantly be, I need to spend more energy, I need to spend more, or I need more, I need more. And when you're like, I actually only need an hour of alone time per day. Or I actually only need an hour of people time per day. That's actually more in line with, I feel like a lot of us. Like I can people for an hour a day, anything over that is not protecting my energy. That is a very different mindset and that's gonna bring you very different results than looking at it as, oh, I need to be bringing in more and more and more people. I need to be surrounding myself with people who know, people who can activate me. So there's this shift coming in saying like, I actually need a lot less than I thought I did. And that's gonna help laser focus your energy into fulfilling your needs or finding ways to fulfill your needs because it's not just this never ending quest. They're defined sprints of energy that actually help you go through intention setting, experience, results, analysis, retrospect. And when we can do that, when we can almost like identify a scientific method to life, to these cycles, it's going to bring you a lot more integration as opposed to just this never ending quest, never ending pursuit. What else is coming through with you in um, September? I keep wanting to say Virgo. 
King of Cups, there's going to be a whole different level of your relationship with what I want to call the darker emotions, like this dragon, where we try to push the dragon down, we try to suppress the dragon energy, whatever that means to you. We try to, and there's this dragon behind me, <laughs> so we, he can't hide forever, but really looking at what your heavier, less controllable emotions feel and look like and being able to integrate them in a different way, respond to them in a different way this month. You're really supported in this. We have the Page of Wands. Be open to new ideas, new passions, new people, uh, new definitions of success coming in. You have the Nine of Cups, which feels like you're just gonna be moving through this month feels like it could be really helpful to set some intentions around how do I how do I know that my cup is filled like what I was saying before just in different words how do I know that my cup is filled because if you don't know it could just be sitting there overflowing it's almost like this cognitive dissonance where like you're watching the cup being filled and you know like you just keep the faucet running and it's like you can't drink from that you can't that's not actually a usable cup of water because it's just gushing and so instead you're saying like, this is where I turn the tap off. This is where I then integrate the water in the glass by consuming it, processing it. And then I can go back for more when I'm ready. So it feels like being able to turn that tap on and off, know when it's time to integrate, know when it's time to turn it back on. Like it feels like that's gonna be really prevalent this month. Um, and four of wands, this to me is the 11, 11. Cause when you see four wands, it's like one, 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 one. But you're building this whole new foundation for yourself that's going to really make room for a lot more joy and the cultivation of satisfaction because you're going to know exactly what satisfaction feels like. You're going to know exactly what it looks like when your cup is filled and you're going to know exactly what it feels like when it's drained. So it feels like there's a lot more discernment on offer for you in September. It's not an easy journey. And it feels like every single sign I've read for so far, it's it's been like a very deep journey. So you're not alone. Um, we are in Virgo season and a lot of planets are retrograde. Some are, Venus is going direct today, but you know, there, there's a lot of time for reflection and going to that deeper sense of self right now. So go where you're being led, allow yourself to stay open to this journey. And I just wish you all the best in this month, Capricorn. It's not easy, but you can do it. So I hope you have a wonderful September. I hope this helps. Reach out to me if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading and otherwise I will see you in October. Bye.